Hi everyone. I'm Dr. Theodore Hodson and I will be your instructor this semester in MAT 140, the asynchronous version. In this brief video, we're going to take a quick tour of the course site, uh, the course syllabus, uh, the topics and assignments that we'll be addressing, and other important information in the course. Let's start out with the syllabus. Uh, here is the course syllabus. It can be accessed by from the home page if you click on welcome information and assignments welcome and course information is the information page I'll probably be adding to that over the course of the semester for example the video I'm creating right now will be going right right in that little space uh, the uh, course syllabus is there as well as the schedule of topics and assignments and any other information that I uh, feel is necessary for the course over the over the semester for the syllabus uh, here's my contact information and email. Um, I, this is an asynchronous course, so I will have no on, no on campus office hours. All office hours will be on my personal Zoom space or Zoom room. Here is the link that you need to click on to go to my Zoom room. Uh, the office hours are listed below. Uh, there's essentially seven hours of office hours that you can access. These office hours are also uh, open to my other classes. I've got a couple statistics classes. So if you pop in office hours and you hear us talking statistics, you'll know why. Um, nonetheless, it is time that you have access to as well. There is a dedicated hour uh, problem solving session uh, Thursday afternoons from 4 to 5 p.m. In that problem, that won't be a lecture. That will just be a time when you can ask questions and we can work problems, if not the homework problems, similar to those on the homework. Uh, the prerequisite for this class is you should have completed EDU 107 or equivalent. Uh, note that there is no required textbook, but there is a, a good resource. Um, it's called Mathematics for Elementary Teachers, a Contemporary Approach, 8th edition. Um, it is available on Amazon. It's an older edition, so it's quite cheap, like uh, five or six bucks. It's available on Amazon and a few other places. But if you do a Google search, and you, I've got the keywords here, um, Musser Burger Mathematics Elementary Teachers PDF, there is a free PDF version that's available online, and you can download that. It is a good resource if you want additional reading about the, the content that we're, we're going through this semester. Uh, you should have a good scientific calculator as well. In the course, it will be, we only have, a, it's 10 weeks, so it's quite quick. Uh, I think that's a that's an important point to note. Uh, as a 10-week course, it's going to be very easy. If you, you better stay up with, the, with what we're doing. Uh, stay current and actually work as quickly as you can. Uh, don't put things off to the last minute. Um, it's going to, it's, it's as, a, as a 10 week course, uh, the deadlines, everything's coming quickly. So, uh, don't let yourself fall behind is my, is my encouragement. There will be over the course of 10 weeks, we'll have two tests, six quizzes and eight homework assignments. So what is that? Uh, 16 total assessments over, over 10 weeks. Um, 430, 450, excuse me, total points. And the, the course, the uh, grade breakdown will be uh, sort of a straight percentage breakdown. Um, other information about the course, um, you all homework assignments, and there will be a total of eight of those. And let's see, I believe you, uh, no, those are all due. So no lowest homework assignment dropped. They're all due. Um, they're going to be due each Sunday at 5 p.m. Uh, I've got, they must be up, uploaded to a canvas via speed grader. And I believe I have the first one posted. Let me take a look. I don't have the, I don't have the first homework posted, but what you need to do is if you go to assignments and on your assignments, you see homework one, you click on homework one and I'll show you the student view. There it is. So it's not, nothing's posted yet because I haven't published it. But if you go back to the uh, assignments, click on that assignment and there'll be a link at the top um, left hand right hand corner which says submit assignment okay so what i would like you to do is i would like you to uh, save your work it could be written it could be um, it could be typed 
probably written as easiest. It could be a graphics image, and ideally, I don't want uh, I don't want 15 pictures. If you take a lot of pictures, put them into a Word document and save them as PDF. It's much easier for me, and it makes it much easier to provide you feedback if all of the work is in a single document. Upload it to Canvas, and I will grade it via Speed Grader and get that uh, get that feedback back to you. A total of two to three problems will be selected from the homework. So I'm not going to grade every single problem, but every single problem might be graded. So it's imperative that you complete each problem. If a problem's missing or blank and it happens to be one that I grade, you'll receive a zero on that problem. Uh, beginning on week two, a weekly quiz will be, I apologize about that, I'm going to down, I'm going to turn turn down my phone because it seems to be going nuts. Um, beginning week two, uh, a weekly quiz, online quiz, will be posted on Canvas. You can access those at the same assignments link that's on the Canvas site. Um, you'll have essentially one day, 24 hours, at which to complete the quiz at some point over the course of the day. Um, Again, office hours are offered via Zoom. The problem-solving session on Thursdays is optional. I will record it, and the recording will be sent to you. So if you can't make it, and you're struggling with questions about the problems, uh, then I encourage you to, to view the video. But if don't say if if all of you say, well, I'm I'm going to wait for the for the video and no one shows up to ask questions, I, I'm not going to make up questions. So um, they have to be questions that you want to have answered. If no one's there and no one has questions, then there won't be a session. So it is an optional problem-solving session. If you have questions, I'll be happy to go through anything. What you'll find in me is that I'm, I'm here to help you, and I'm, but you have to ask. So um, I, I, can't, I don't know the questions that you have. So if you have questions, visit office hours or visit the, um, the 140 uh, problem solving session and ask. And if you ask, you'll receive help. Um, a few other little bits of information are here. I'll let you read about those in the syllabus. Um, the, uh, there is some drop-in tutoring, uh, which is online available. It's all free, which is nice. Um, then there's a, a few, the uh, online, the online final exam will be May 5th and 6th not both days obviously there'll be a two-day window provided at which you can complete the exam uh, other information you should read here as well on the syllabus there is a, a list of the sort of topics we'll be covering the other important document in this class for you is returning to the uh, on to the course homepage um, is the special the the uh, Spring 21 Topics and Assignments document, and it looks like this. Um, notice what it has is just a list of each week. So we're going to have a weekly, basically a weekly uh, um, outline. I'll be posting a weekly page. I'll show you in a second. Here's what we're going to be addressing that week. The section, if you choose, the sections I'll add to that are sections from that optional textbook. If you do choose to get the online textbook, want some additional reading, um, then it's posted there. Uh, the online assignment, uh, the online, the homework assignment is due on Sunday the 21st at 5 p.m. Uh, the first quiz is going to be on uh, 224. And then, so what you have is you have the topics we'll be addressing and what's due. Okay, the first test is on 324, and then there'll be the final exam on the week of May 6th. Okay, one last little bit about the about the course, and that is if I go back to the uh, to the course homepage, each week I'm going to be outlining what we are to do, and on these weekly units I call them, and you'll see uh, there's not much yet; it hasn't even been published. You can see here. For the week one unit, I'll be posting uh, uh, lecture notes. I'll be posting some videos. Uh, I might probably be posting some worked examples. So you see examples of how others or how I would want to have the problems done. Um, so each week, you should open up that weekly page, read the notes. If there are any other additional readings on there, you should read them. Uh, view the videos. 
that are on there. And then the homework is going to be out is going to be covering the uh, essentially the week, essentially the content for the week. Uh, the one thing that I, you know, as a teacher, I'm a worrier, so I always worry about you and how I can help you succeed. Um, the one thing that I think is essential for you is this material is going to be posted on, essentially, on the weekend, on Sunday um, of the week. Um, I have office hours, a lot of office hours, from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. But your homework's not due till Sunday. So... What I would have you do, if you if you wait till Saturday and try to do the homework, I will not be available to help you. And, and so my encouragement to you, and this is what I said, start early. Look at the material. Read through it early in the week and say, do I understand it? Do I need more help? What's going on here? If you need help, then come and get help. Come and see me. Come see me in office hours. Come see me in the weekly problem solving session. Um, so make sure that you get started early so that you can get your questions answered. Last, a last point about the homework, it can be collaborative. It doesn't need to be you alone. The quizzes have to be you alone. As I say, it's, uh, uh, the homework is open, open book and open neighbor, but the quizzes are just you as well as the tests. So I encourage you, if you have classes with others on campus and want to get together for um, problem sessions to work the homework, that would be terrific. You might talk with others in the class and set up a Zoom, sort of a Zoom group, if you will, to work the homework problems. Email others and, con and connect with them in the class. All right, that is a quick tour. If you have other questions, um, email me as soon as possible. Uh, I will be posting the first week here shortly, and uh, you can get started early if you like. And I look forward to seeing you. Officially, we start next week, which is the, uh, what is today? Is the 7th. So we start on the 15th is essentially the opening day, if you will. Um, and uh, I look forward to a good 10 weeks with you and uh, helping you learn and, and to uh, working, working through the class with you together.